the invasion of our planet. Our beautiful world, made up of mountains, forests, the sea, rivers and streams, and beautiful architectural inventions, cars and many more, and a population of 7 billion have come to an end. This is characterized by a surge in natural disasters scattered all across the world. In the Northern America, there is a surge in cyclones that is destroying many, many things worth billions of dollars. You go to Australia, fire is destroying many vegetations and many arable lands. You come to Africa, some parts of Africa are encountering farming, other parts are also going through flooding. You also go to the Asia, there is earthquakes and so many, many things are happening. Aside these natural disasters, there are wars and rumors of wars taking place all across. Now, one would think that the escalations of these things will cause men and women to come to the realization that our world is coming to an end. But that has not happened. Primarily because Satan and his agents have managed to convince us using the mainstream media to tell us that these things that are happening are as a result of global warming. Well, I believe in this fact that if we pull down our trees and we turn our environment upside down, there are going to be consequences. But ladies and gentlemen, the escalation of these natural disasters are not as a result of global warming, but they are as a result of God's warning system unto you and I about the end of our world. Let nobody tell you that the world is going to become a better place. It is not true. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 21 and 22, Jesus says that the tribulation or the troubles that are coming upon the earth has never happened in terms of scale and size. And if it has not been reduced, no human being can survive on the face of the earth. Then the question is, what kind of problem is coming upon the face of the earth? Well, it is something that is big. Now, these agents of Satan, through movies, have brainwashed us or prepared us for the arrival of Satan and his agents. And they have used films like the Aquaman, the Battleship, the Avengers, and many more to prepare us that there's coming a time and a day when man will be coexisting with extraterrestrial beings. Now, in these movies, some of these beings are portrayed as friendly and some are also portrayed as very violent. Let me tell you, in the scientific world, these extraterrestrial beings are called aliens. That is not who they are, but they are actually evil spirits and fallen angels from hell. Now, the question is, when are they coming? I am not aware, but I know it's very soon. But as to how it's going to happen, we can find that in Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 17. In that passage, the devil and his forces and the state of the art weapons he has managed to build over these centuries and millennia is going to encounter or is going to fight with Angel Michael and the forces of heaven. And that is going to be the mother of all wars. But in that passage, Satan once again lost the battle and he was cast down from where he is currently dwelling in the other planet and brought down here on earth. Now one who want to ask, why was he cast here? Why was he not cast elsewhere? He was cast here because of his hate 
for us is pride. God brought him here to come and dwell with the people that he despised. That is us. Listen, his coming here is going to be very, very disastrous for humanity. Why? Because he knows he has about seven years for him to be incarcerated for a thousand years. And so he is going to unleash on us many troubles, many plagues, many destructions never seen and will never happen again. Now why we want to ask, if such a thing is going to happen, where are we safe or where is our safety? Your safety and my safety is only found in Christ Jesus. In the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12, it said there is no name on the earth and not the earth by which man can be saved but the name Jesus. It is only when you come to Jesus, you are assured of safety against Satan's attack, no matter the level it comes. But if you are out of Christ, then you can rest assured that you are going to find yourself in trouble. I'm using this medium to reach out to you. The time is not on our side. Come to Jesus before it is too late. If you are willing and ready, kindly pray this simple but powerful prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I surrender my soul my spirit and my body into your hands. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to die for me. If you have prayed this prayer, Jesus has come into your life. But that is not enough. Find a Bible-believing church and get baptized in water and with the Holy Ghost. For more of our videos, kindly subscribe on our YouTube channel on Salvation Today campaign series. Please remember, Time is not on our side. As to when Satan is going to be cast here on earth, I am not aware. But it is only in Jesus that you are saved. Now those of you who are already saved, please help us share these videos across all social media to reach out to as many people as possible for them to come to the best safety net with the Christ Jesus. God richly bless you. My name is Pastor Fred Dacosa, your street evangelist. Shalom, peace, and life unto you. Amen.